So the other day I was sat looking at this channel and I realized that beyond posting like a music video or a short film once or twice a year, I don't really utilize this channel at all. I don't really make any content for it or, you know, beyond the videos, which, you know, take months to make in between those releases. I don't really, um, I'm not at all active. And I thought it was a shame in some ways because 2024 has been such an incredible year creatively and I've been very fortunate to be able to work alongside some of my dearest friends and, you know, really build up um, what we're doing with films. And because I haven't shared any of that here, I thought it'd be a good idea to just make a little video talking a bit about what we've been up to. And now the other day, my close friend and one of the key collaborators in all of this, Simon Roper, made a video on his channel and he just basically shared some teasers for some of the films that we have coming out. And so I thought it made sense to just do the same thing and just kind of echo what he did in his video and to share the same projects, talk a little bit about some of those projects and, you know, hopefully set some foundation for what's to come. So the first film I wanted to share a little preview of is I Hear Jazz in Central Park. And now this is a kind of artsy street film that we shot back in New York in 2022. And I shot this one with Eric Norcross and Charlie Louise. And we essentially spent a week going around Manhattan, basically just making this film that it would go on to take two years to finish because life has just been so manic and we've had so much going on that it's it it kept taking the back seat, the back seat, the back seat. And finally now we're through post and it'll be out on December the 1st on this channel. And so here's a little short teaser trailer preview for I Hear Jazz in Central Park. The next project that I wanted to mention is a feature film called The Mystery of the Romans. This film is by Simon Roper. He wrote and directed it and it's produced by us, a lit mouth. And it's just been such an incredible experience to watch from the conception of the idea, watching Simon have the idea, pre-production, production, and now we're in post. And what's been so special about this experience of making this film is seeing Simon's evolution as an artist and seeing Simon really find his voice on this project and have a strong vision creatively and have the confidence and give himself the permission to really kind of trust in that vision and you know build such a fun set where you know it was amazing collaborative being able to see how much the actors brought to it and collaborated with him and from what I've seen of the edits and stuff so far I I'm incredibly excited to see people's reactions to it when it comes out because I feel like it's such a big step and it really is one of those films that sometimes I watch a film from a director that just has a really unique feel and it kind of has personality that just feels different from other films out there and Mystery of the Romans from the edits I've seen so far is definitely one of those films where it puts me in a zone and it puts me in like a state of mind that's different from when I go into it. And I think usually that's a great sign of a of a good film. And so here's a little preview of that now. People think in two ways about morality. On the one hand, we say we want to reduce human suffering, make the world as painless as possible, but we don't. We want the catharsis. We want to hurt people. As long as we can tell ourselves that we're hurting the right people. We're like tax avoiders. We're working within the system. We cause pain in acceptable ways. Because we have to do it somehow. Or more specifically, we want to. This is one of the projects I'm not going to go too far into, I'm not going to give away too many details, but hopefully 
the trailer will kind of give you the vibe. And let's just say we play around with kind of historical themes and um, yeah, I'm not going to say too much about that one, but here's the trailer for Living Memory. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. How are you doing? How are the little ones? How's, how's the dog? Um, yeah, I just got, I'm just worried. Yeah, I'm worried. You know, he doesn't see anyone at all, you know? No, what, no, we had a doctor coming around the other day. Yeah, suit and booted, met him in the pub, everything. Then he came round, he told me that he was sick. Maybe something was wrong with him. No, I know. Well, he says he only drinks every other two weeks or something stupid. I said, I didn't believe him. It's just difficult, isn't it? You know, if things just seem to be going wrong. The last project I'm going to share today is Jack of the Dump. Now, I shared a trailer for Jack of the Dump a couple of years ago on this channel. But beyond that, I don't think I've really mentioned it much or ever posted about it. It's a feature-length mockumentary film that follows a 1970s British sitcom that basically just goes off the rails. And what's really special about this film for us is this is kind of the film that started a whole collaboration off. And we started shooting in 2017. So as the characters age in the documentary and as the archival footage goes from the 60s to the 70s to the 80s, our characters are actually really aging as obviously we kind of shot in order and so you kind of the documentary follows and sort of charts this this you know this journey and follows this story of this show kind of falling apart and just all out chaos <laughs> i won't say too much but it you know the whole thing just basically goes to shit but throughout this obviously there's different interviews and different episodes and things that we've shot where we were varying ages throughout the production and so I'm pleased to say we're on the final stages of completing Jack of the Dump and it should be out early next year should be here is the trailer for Jack of the Dump I'm sure you want to know why I wasn't there the day of yeah why well I was looking out the window and I saw a raven fly down and perch itself upon the gate outside. It squawked thrice. So anyway, I ignored that. I tried to start the car, but it wouldn't go. So I just went back through the front door, pulled out a packet of coke and uh, just started blasting it. Like it lasted four days. I didn't sleep once, not a wink of sleep. So apparently 13 people disappeared. Um... From the, on the final episode, can you tell us what might have happened and where they where they are now? Can I just give me a second before I answer that question? Dan, Dan, I've, just, I've got an awkward question. You know, the one about the uh, thirteen guys disappearing. What do you what do you say I should say on that one from the PR front? Okay. Okay, that's good. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about that. Now, if you're interested in any of the projects I've mentioned today in this video, and you'd like to know when they're released or receive updates about them, we've set up a simple mailing list at litmouthstudios.com, and I've linked that below. And on this mailing list, once you sign up, you'll basically just receive simple updates, letting you know when the films come out, telling you about new films that are in production, things like that, and you can opt out at any time. But we've just found that with social media algorithms on YouTube and Instagram, it's very difficult to kind of reach people with content. And quite often when we release a film, most of the subscribers won't be shown it. So if you're interested in some of these projects, it's just a great way of us knowing that it's going to get to you. And it's a great way for you to know that you're actually going to be notified when the film comes out.